You may notice some retailers are shifting their return policies, saving hassles on both sides. ABC's Rena Roy here now, and Rena, this could save you a trip to the post office. Hey, Ariel, that's right, and that is something we can all get behind, right? For most of us, returns are probably pretty high up there on errands we try to avoid, and now we might get to do just that with some products this holiday season. Let's face it, returning a package is never fun. I'd like to remind you that all packages must be properly wrapped. Involving a lot of do's and don'ts like this scene from Men in Black shows. This one is an example of go home and do it again. Returning items is a hassle. You gotta package things up, you gotta figure out the shipping label, you gotta make time for that chore to bring that item back. But this holiday season, consumers looking to make a return could catch a welcomed break, as some retailers are saying just keep it on certain items. According to a recent survey by return service firm GoTRG, this year about 59% of major retailers are offering these so-called keep it return policies. If a return item costs less than what it would cost the retailer to transport, sort, and resell that product, to save money, the retailer may decide to not just refund the cash, but also allow the consumer to keep the product. Right now, a lot of families tell me that they're strapped, they're feeling the pinch. So when this does happen, some people will opt to sell the item to someone else or gift it, saving them money, and everyone is desperate to do that these days. But it's no surprise companies don't advertise these policies, nor which products they apply to. Amazon telling us in a statement that they offer this on a small number of returns as a convenience and to help keep prices low for customers. And regarding bad actors who might game this system, saying we take fraud very seriously and we'll work with law enforcement to hold them accountable. Experts say there are items that companies are more likely to consider letting you keep. Things like food, clothing, bedding, or baby products that may have already been used. Also bulky items that would require expensive or complicated shipping. I ordered a rug and when it arrived to me, I realized the color just wasn't right. And they were like, you know what? No, just keep it. We encourage you to donate it to someone who needs it, but we don't need that thing back. And according to returns technology company Upturo, American shoppers are expected to return $173 billion worth of purchases between Thanksgiving and the end of January, at least 25% more than last year. So these policies will probably be very useful for a lot of people, guys. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I like the idea of gifting it. If you don't yeah. use yeah, it, just gift yeah. it. I like that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.